Good morning, friends. Oh, uh, I actually am not looking at you. I'm looking at the video of myself, and I see that you only see part of my shirt. So I'm going to raise up so you can see the rest of it. It's a mammoth from the mammoth site in Hot Springs, South Dakota. If you ever get a chance to be in the Black Hills of South Dakota or Hot Springs, South Dakota, go to the Mammoth site. It's really interesting. You can walk around down in there where they dig. It's a pit that a lot of animals, cyber-toothed tigers and camels and things, fell into. And um, they've been digging on it for many, 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 many years, like, I don't know, 25 years and they think they got another 20 some years to keep digging before they get to the bottom of the pile of bones. Uh, let me move this over here because I keep wanting to look at myself instead of you. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Uh, I got a question kicked the camera. I got a question about uh, uh, why do I count flies? And by the way, the fly count is up to I, 327. Uh, they don't count if you're um, outside. It has to be inside the motorhome and you have to retrieve it. It doesn't count if it falls behind the couch. Um, can't go outside, find a dead cow, and start smacking it with the fly swatter. It's got to be inside the motorhome, and you have to get it so you can put it in the trash. And if you've been watching my videos, you've seen me do that a few times. So why do I do that? Well, uh, I think it started because uh, it was kind of inspired by years ago. We used to drive from Portland, Oregon to South Dakota to visit uh, relatives. And uh, along the way, going through Wyoming, we would count antelope. And the fun part was that there were lots and lots of antelope to count. And we had some rules about it. If one person saw, you know, 14 antelope over there, you can't, like, argue about the count. You have to just take it. But the fun part was always arriving at my mother's house. And we say, Mom, we counted 622 an antelope. And Mom would say, every time. Oh, we've seen a lot more than that. <laughs> oh, and then uh, we had another thing that we would count, too. We would count uh, dead animals. That sounds kind of morbid, but if you're driving 1,500 miles, there's a lot of uh, road kills, so... That was another thing, counting animals. Uh, so now we count flies, and it turns what would be extremely annoying into something just fun to do. So that's why we count flies. Uh, the mouse count from Ehrenberg, the final count, I don't think I told you, was eight. We killed eight mice, well, trapped them in our motorhome in Ehrenberg. Um, I still have those same two traps set here and since we arrived here at Fortuna Pond not a single trap has been set, has been, what do you call it, snapped, snap traps. Um, I'm kind of uh, uh, wondering what kind of a story I should tell you today. Friends are up. I'm wondering what kind of a story I should tell you today. Because um, it is JC travel stories, and even though I'm traveling when I'm sitting in one place with a bunch of other YouTubers uh, who are making videos about every little thing that goes on, yeah, just it's like uh, I, uh, you probably can watch all of that stuff on somebody else's channel. Let's see. How about I went to Brownsville, Texas 
to see my mom and dad. Um, and it was with Lynn and the kids when they were smaller. And dad and I decided that we were going to go out to Padre Island and go fishing. But it's surf fishing and you need to have some chest waders. That's like rubber boots that come all the way up to your chest. So we went to Penny's and bought a pair of uh, inexpensive chest waders for me to wear uh, when we went out fishing in the surf at Padre Island, Texas. And we got out there and I took them out of the bag and put them on and they only came up to my waist. They didn't come up to the up to my chest. And the picture on the uh, uh, bag showed a picture of chest waders with little tiny straps that go over your shoulder. And these were up to my waist with big long straps that went over your shoulder. Just wrong. Packaged wrong. Advertised on the package incorrectly. So I put them back in the bag and went back to Penny's the next day and I went back into the department thinking, well, I want to get some chest waders. And every bag uh, was the same. Uh, that they were mismarked by the picture on the package. And I found the uh, lady who had helped me the day before buy them, and she remembered me and was, you know, sympathetic. <sighs> And so um, I decided there's the only thing I could do is go and get my money back. Well, I got up to the customer service up, and I didn't have my receipt. So they said, well, um, we can only give you a store credit. And I said, you know, I don't really live here. I don't regularly shop at Penny's. I paid cash yesterday. Um, and I just turned around. I said, let me go and get the clerk. So I went back and I said, would you please come and verify that I bought these yesterday? Now understand that there is a sticker on the package that says pennies and the price. It's still there. I just don't have the receipt. So she comes up and she says, I remember this guy buying them yesterday and, and you know, it really is all packaged wrong on the shelf back there. I've put them away so that nobody else would have this problem. And um, the decision is still by customer service that I can only get a store credit, not my cash back. And I am beginning to get louder and more and more annoyed until finally the manager comes out. And the manager explains to me that that's the policy and it's not going to change. So I took the store credit, and I stormed over towards the cash register lines, and I picked up a briefcase. It was a $100 briefcase. And I went over, and I threw it down on the counter, and I gave them a $100 bill and said, Here is my store credit, and they gave me my change and my receipt. And I went over to the customer service, and I said, here's my cash receipt, and I don't want this goddamn briefcase. And the store manager held the door open for me as I left the store, and I didn't shop at Penny's for over 30 years. <laughs> uh, now, realize that... Uh, I'm 73 years old, and that happened when I was in my early 30s, so I've gotten to be a lot nicer person in these 40-some years. Uh, the rest of this video is just going to be about what's going on around here. I took a little drive all the way around the lake so that you could see how many campers are here at Fort Tiamat Lake. It's unbelievable. It's like there's no parking places left. Uh, oh, and of course, I have the... Um, the bird video. Enjoy. I was in a store the other day and I saw this tool and I don't know what it is. If anybody knows what this tool is, please tell me.
All my friends are taking pictures from the shoreline over there, out towards the middle of the lake here. That's my motorhome there with the flagpole. I thought it might be more interesting to walk out here into the middle of the lake and take pictures all the way around to both sides of the lake. Standing out here on the water is uh, not difficult if you know how to do it. Well, let's take a drive around the lake real quick and see all of the different motorhomes. Beautiful Airstream there. Very nice couple from Indiana. There are not very many parking places left on the sunny side of the lake. We're on the other side of the lake, so we don't get the morning sun on the patio side of the motorhome. I'm going to speed this up so that it doesn't take quite so long to get around the lake. impressed with the stabilizer in this uh, Panasonic video camera. I'm driving with one hand and this is a very bumpy road and I'm just holding the camera in my other hand. When you see the front of the car you can see how much it's bouncing around and the video speeded up its worse but it's pretty good to me. And here we are. Home again, home again. Good morning, friends. Oh, I'm talking to my friends. Oh. We've done that bit before about your friend number one. Never mind. <laughs> what? Nothing. I'm going to start again. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.